will. Somewhat awkward. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, it is cold in here. Yeah. It's freezing. It was just kind of like t talking to Kev earlier about what we talked about. Yeah. And just want to step out of the game. Like, there's not game. No game. No game related talk at all, just pure personal, pure, you know, just no game. So um, once if we want, I get to stay. No, oh my god, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, you know. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's like a pause from the game. Yeah, it's a pause. For a little bit. I want to apologize to you um, for my part in believing something about you that wasn't true. Okay. And I just want to. Stop it now, because I feel like William is unintentionally making you look bad in the house. And this is not game. It's not making my game worse. Is this is not like, as a? Uh, I mean, it does put a stain on your game because people do see yeah. you as it makes you look like a bad person, mm -hmm. and it so it adds a stigma to your game. But the game aside, it makes you look like a bad person. Yes not just the people in the house, but to the people out there. And we want to come to you and be like, and just keep it real yes. in how it looks and why it looks that way. And I want to apologize for perpetuating it and believing it and adding anything that could affect you outside of this house as well. Yeah. Is that how you feel? Yeah, definitely. And I wanted to apologize for a little bit, and, and I know William was like, well, I know you, it's fine, like, you didn't do on purpose, blah, blah, blah. But I did feel for a very long time since the beginning that, you know, obviously that you were, like, kind of, like, using him or, like, trying to get advantage or whatever. Um, and I feel bad because I do understand that I know you care about him, mm -hmm. and I just feel like I probably, with my words or my action, have been contributing to maybe not only the house saying things, but like we were talking about how when you come out of the game, like certain things. Yeah, when you people are gonna say certain things. We like know that, that yes. when you leave this house, years will come and people will still you get a reputation. Re on what a reputation based here. on what exactly. happened, yeah. and. That's why I'm like, just pause this for one second. Pause however we feel, all game aside. Yes. He is unintentionally making look bad. He felt like you degraded him with the whole Peely thing. And I explained that to you, that I did not find it to be degrading. Yeah. He was being honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because you look a certain way and William looks a certain way, it's perceived like you are preying upon him. Mm -hmm. And he's a poor boy. Mm -hmm. And it looks, and people have called you disgusting and think that yeah. it's, and I have thought your actions were disgusting as well. Mm -hmm. And, but he is the reason why you look this way based on every single time in this house, he's not upset over a game. He's upset over you. Mm -hmm. He's upset over Peely. He's upset over not enough attention. It's always on you, and that's why I said when they were here that day, I'm like, it's not Kevin, mm -hmm. it's William. Like, and that's why I was like, no, I am not Kevin's favorite person, and vice versa, yes. but I don't want to be contributing to this, and I want to stop. 
Yeah. I want I want it to stop because yeah. I don't. At first, this is what I thought. I thought that at first, and when the game starts and the game starts, you say whatever. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna seduce Dimitri. It's, it's, a, it's you do what you say whatever, yes, right? Exactly. But as time goes by, your mind change and things change. And I think for me, because I didn't know you and I saw you as not a genuine person, yeah. I thought you're more concerned about your image to Canada and you're only being nice to him because of that. Yes. And I changed that tune and I'm like, no, because how can you not naturally care about somebody who wants to protect you? Yes, exactly. And I realized that, like, and I, even that day when I was here, and that's why I said to you, I realized that the problem is not Kevin, the problem is William and the way he feels about Kevin. And it's not his fault that William likes him more or William feels this way and it's uncomfortable. And what can you do? Mm -hmm. And he looks more mature, but he's young. Yeah. Kevin is young, like you are young. young. You are, and like but, he's here as well, and it's not his responsibility to cater to William's feeling. He's here, he has pressures from home, pressures from his ex-girlfriend, pressures of a returning player. He wants to enjoy himself. Yeah. He wants to flirt and have fun, and it shouldn't be like, oh, I'm preying upon this young boy. I just, I just felt like obviously I'm close to William, right? And yes. when he's upset about things that outside of the game, about things that you say or how you make him feel, I'm always like, go talk to Kevin about it. And I feel like this is my perception, my feelings. I feel like you guys don't talk about how, outside of the game, how you feel about each other, kind of, and yeah. like where you are. And so that makes it that when you tell the truth about how you feel about Pili or, or your ex girlfriend or whatever, it, upsets, it him. upsets him because he doesn't. I feel like you guys don't talk about your relationship. Gotcha. And so he feels he can feel degraded or he can feel like... So last night, the, the PD comment really hurt him, eh? He said that you <clears throat> degraded him, yeah. but I was telling Dre that, like, that is... That's not a very nice word to use mm -hmm. in, because you're being honest in your feelings. And I've said, I'm like, I have no relationship with coming outside of this house. I've been around you and Pili a, a couple times. Yeah. But, and I've said this to you, like, being around them, you could sit in a room and feel their connection. They have lived together. That was his yeah. best friend. He was in love with her. So it's not the same. Yeah. And I feel... Well, yeah, I'm not trying to get into the Pili conversation, yeah. obviously, because I, I don't even like like saying her name. But I I was just feeling like I heard what you said, and I, I feel like Aika is very right in what in everything that she said, and she did make me see like another, yeah. another way. And I do feel, however, that you guys do need to kind of like talk about it because how it makes it feel to the house is well, I'm not going to say, say for the house but for myself it's as if you are kind of like the villain and he's like the yes. good person yeah, yes. How it's perceived. Yes. yes and I feel like it has been perceived like that for a long time yeah ever since the start I know that yeah. our relationship I would be perceived as one has played him yeah. yes, yes. It's, it's perceived yeah. that way but and because he does it's, it's not and, and no it and I yeah. honestly believe that and I feel like mm -hmm. Image and perception in this house is everything, and it's also perception to them. And if he's seen as a naive, funny, doesn't speak English very well, boy, yeah. and it's all Kevin, 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 um, and then he comes to her and he's like, he degraded me, it's easy to feel sorry for someone who looks like that. Mm -hmm. But he is only a year younger than Kevin, a year or two. Mm -hmm. He's not a boy, mm -hmm. and he's not that much older, and I don't feel like the responsibility of William's feelings should fall on Kevin. It's not fair, mm -hmm. and that's what... I was saying, but like Drace, game I, aside. I need to go talk to him about outside of the game, about our true feelings for each other and how I, he feels about yeah. Yes, I do you think you guys are not honest with each other no, about like your relationship and where you stand. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm not. I don't he's wanna, in love. That's no, not what I was saying, but no, like he's never had a boyfriend before. Mm -hmm. I am telling you, like I I don't know if he's in love, but he's on. Like if this is like. And this is love, he's like right here. Yeah. Like he is very infatuated with you. He really is. And I don't, I can't, I almost feel bad for you because I would not want the responsibility of that on me because it will, you will look bad every single time. Yeah. But it's my responsibility to make sure he knows how I feel. Where like you stand. Exactly. And not to lead him on and not yeah. to. So. Like, if you're like, William, like, I like you, but more in a flirty, fun kind of way, like, I was in a long-term relationship, I, that's not what I want, I'm figuring things out, 
and I, I feel like it's better that way and because I really don't feel like you are I don't want you to be perceived a certain way because I know how it is. We know how it is. Yes. We've been there. Mm -hmm. And William, I don't think he's doing it on purpose, but he doesn't know the repercussions of the words that he says about you and how he makes you look. Gotcha. And he's not doing it on purpose, but you look bad. Mm -hmm. It looks really bad. I don't want and to I don't, it's week eight, mm -hmm. and I feel bad that this conversation didn't happen earlier. It's gone on for a long yeah. time. It's gotten more serious the last couple of weeks, I yeah. think, like, than it was at the start. Yeah. yeah. But, so I need to go tell him how I, I honestly feel. Because I, how, how I view William is like, he's my best friend in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flirt, have fun. Yes. It's nothing more than that. Yes. And there will be nothing after And I show. think you should tell him that. And I think you should also maybe talk to him about, just because, talk to him about, like, words that he uses and mm -hmm. the way Kevin makes him but feel. This is, this is how I feel. I feel like when he comes and talks to me, obviously, I, I'm, like, this is the first time that I'm, like, I voicing yes. this to you. But it has happened in the past that he talked to me about it. And I've always said, I think you should go talk to Kevin about how you're feeling because I don't want to come in between it and I, I don't know where, like, I think I, I see that you, it's just fun and flirt and whatever and I thought that it was the same thing for William, which no, I still think, but sometimes it's, some things that he says and some ways that he's upset, I just, yeah. I'm like, you don't need to be upset about it. And then when I say, like, go talk to Kevin, he looks like he doesn't want to. And when I say certain things, like, in my opinion, sometimes I'm like, you're too much on him. You are well, I awesome, yeah. But I have to in this situation, especially because of where we're at. It's where and, you're like, at. The game is coming up. And if he is... Yeah. If I lead him on and give him expectations for after, that wouldn't be fair. Like, it wouldn't be fair. I remember our, like, a one conversation that we had in this couch, and I was like, don't lead him on. Don't lead him on. That's like the only thing that I told you. That was don't like the lead first him week. On. That, was like, that was the first week. I was like, do not, if you feel like something, do not lead him on. And I feel like I understand that it's not intentional, but I do feel like sometimes because you let things happen you it, it contributes to leading him on yes just like me when i voice my opinion i say i think he's playing him i contribute to, to viewers at home viewers at home the house, yes you know? so. and i think that's what um like it's like i want to okay. we want to put a stop to yeah. it yes. yeah that portrayal of you game aside that but that portrayal of you i don't like it mm -hmm. I, it doesn't sit well and i do want to sincerely apologize to you because mm -hmm. i might have also added to that based on my personal opinion and when i realize i'm wrong about something i'll be the first one to say i'm wrong and yeah. i am so sorry mm -hmm. and i just want but it's it's i could have put a stop to it weeks ago if i was honest with my feelings i really could have mm -hmm. I, and it's it's gotten it's gotten more serious the last couple of weeks that I yes. realized that he, I, I, he really is fall, mm -hmm. fall. Yes, me, yes. And it even sounds bad for me to say that. I know it like, makes oh, you feel. Oh, he's falling for no, me. No, like, but he is. Like, it, he, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like you're just some. No, yeah. it's the mm -hmm. truth. Yeah. You know. Yeah, right. What's up, Star? Oh, How was it? Oh, it was so weird. So weird seeing like real life stuff. Oh, I told you. Oh. I had a moment where I was like sitting on the side of the road, like wait they were doing stuff, and I was just sitting there in the car by myself, and I like just had a moment like you felt like you're outside of the house. Like I honestly like you, you, it was like a rush coming out. I'm like whoa, oh my awesome. goodness. it was strange. Yeah. What was your car? Yeah. Oh, the car's sweet. Ah! The car is sweet actually. Yeah, I really want that thing. How yeah. long was it? How long were you with Cindy for? Uh, maybe like 15 minutes, That's 10 awesome. minutes. Yeah. She excited. Oh yeah, she was pumped. Yeah, she was she in was the car pumped. with you, or just like yep. okay, okay. Yeah, we were driving around. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, 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 they said I'm not allowed to talk about like what we talked about. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I thought was like normal stuff. Well, no, I was like ready to like. Yeah, exactly. yeah no, 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 no. But yeah. Honestly, it's not that. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. You weren't gone for very long. No. Yeah, I knew. I knew I wouldn't be. It was crazy. Oh, I was so nuts. Oh That's my awesome. goodness. I got to like see Toronto too. I was like cruising. I'm like, oh shit. No, it was so cool. That's so fun. Yeah, it was so cool. That's awesome. Was it, was it rough in here without me? It must have been horrible. I actually we really did it. <laughs> just crushed. We you left the door. The door didn't even close. I was like, I missed him. <laughs> I thought he's That's not. so embarrassing. And then they brother said, stop that. See, even Big Brother. Even Big Brother was like, I can stop that. I miss him. I did. She did miss you. I uh, the door wasn't even closed. It was still open. We can still see yeah. you walking. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it, it, it was a rush. It was weird. I told you. I am not prepared to leave this place. I told you. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm scared. Did I not tell you? No, I'm not, oh, I'm not shit. ready for it. Now we feel comfortable here. And yeah. We're, we're, <gasps> this is our little bubble. Yeah. I, oh, but I told you. Scary world out there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. See the guy Was it weird the, seeing the gas station and people? I, and see, just the people, I, see, the guy, I see the guy walking through the park. It was weird. It was like mind blowing. I oh told you! My goodness. There, there was a, there was like a goose, like just doing its thing, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so beautiful. I told you. Did I not tell you? I told you. It, it so is. Cool. It is weird. It was weird. It's um, a massive trip. Yeah, like oh driving in traffic. Goodness. Like the first couple turns. Oh, it felt so weird. Like I haven't driven oh in forever. Oh my goodness! Did you know how to drive again? Yeah, like, yeah. After once I got talking, like you, it, your body just takes over yeah, and does yeah. whatever. But. That car is cool. That car is, uh, car is cool. Oh, oh I'm so happy that you I opened that. it up That's a little nice. bit. <laughs> as soon as we were done. <laughs> no, it was fun. Oh, oh so I wish fun. I could talk about it, but. Oh, it's OK. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's, That's so, so cool. cool. That is cool. What did I miss in here? I figured the whole house would have flipped by now. No, no, no. We were actually just talking Last time about I took a nap, I almost got evicted. Outside of the game Yeah, stuff. we're talking oh, about yeah. not game related. Yeah, just nice. the Kevin William. Situation. situation. Yeah. yeah, it might not be as bad as we all think. I don't know. Yeah. Micah, yeah. Please go to the diary room. Oh, okay. Yeah. We pretty much got the gist of it, right? Yeah, there. we got the gist of it. I, I want to talk to you again about it, though. Okay. I, I got most of it. So you think it's looked really bad on the show? Because I know I can't talk about it, but I really haven't asked me too much about it. Like, and stuff. But you yeah. think it's been shown? Yes. I, I would say it's probably definitely been. Please stop talking about production. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that um, I don't know how the house sees it, but I feel like it might be something like a showman, and I don't know if you want it to be. Never wanted a showman. So I feel Four like minutes. it could be perceived as a showman, and it could have been shown as a showman. And. But that's why I'm saying like it might be worse for us in here because, sure. right, and how how it's. Yeah, might not be might not be as bad as he, yeah. you know, especially like. You know, yeah. If I ever got asked about it, I would have put a stop to it. And be like no, like, no. Like, mm -hmm. But I feel like it hasn't been brought up in my perspective. Mm -hmm. But after talking to you guys, I can see that it's probably worse than I was aware of. But that's the thing. I don't know if it's worse or not. What what I what I wanted to say is that I feel like I don't know how about the show. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I feel like inside here and being here, I would see it as almost like a showman. Um, and maybe because I'm closer to William, I know that he has a lot of, of feelings for you. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it wasn't reciproc, it wasn't... Um, Reciprocated. Yes, exactly. And that's fine, but I just felt like you guys were not honest with each other. I feel like he's not honest with you, and you're not honest with him. And when he comes to me and he's upset about something that you said or did, it's like, I don't really know how to... I'm just like, go talk to him because I don't... I don't know anything else to say because I don't, I don't know what your position is. I don't know how you guys see your relationship. I don't want to get into it. I understand that it's not comparable to what you had in your season, and and outside of your season and all that and I just feel like maybe he doesn't see it that way and I feel like if you let things go you contribute to him feeling like it's yeah it's yeah. okay and whatever like it's like. yeah I mean I don't know how you feel or how he feels but it does come off like almost like a little one-sided you know what I mean it does and that's where the problem is yeah. I, but I need to be more upfront about my true feelings about him. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, man, it's only a problem if you see it as a problem, yeah. right? I, I, I have a little bit okay. of the last few years, yeah, then, like then, A lot of times it's easier to see something and just kind of ignore it. Roll yeah, it, yeah, but like, yeah, what she's saying is like, if you do ignore it, it is going to look bad on you, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you're causing it, even though you're not, Yeah. like, you're still, like, contributing to yeah. it. Yeah, that's I think. exactly what I was saying as well. Like, he's making you unintentionally, obviously, but he's making you look bad because... You do look like the more mature person. You do look like you're older, even if you're not. You guys are like six months apart or something like that. Yeah, that's cool. He does look a little more immature, boyish looking, childish looking. You do look more. Yeah, you come off very. Like, you know? like, man, I can't even hang out with you, and then I like I have to think, like, oh shit, you're younger than me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you do. Well, I know you're younger than me. But, <laughs> but you do come off 
a little bit more mature and a little bit more like you pose it like you're very like calmer and all of that and he's a little bit more like goofy and whatever yes. so although you guys only have six months difference and although you guys are very he's always six months apart yeah something like that yeah crazy yeah he you're january he's june third january third right yeah, yeah. so he i i feel like he makes you look because of that difference and you how you guys like appear in your and mm-hmm. your personality he does unfortunately unintentionally make you look like you're the villain in the relationship like you're the one leading him on controlling him manipulating exactly. him. Yeah. even though that has never been my intention yeah yeah and i know you have good intentions right mm-hmm. it's just sucks that we're in a game right now but I-, i know you have good intentions it's just that it's not going to be perceived like that because of i understand now i mean it, it is hard to say though what they're showing what they're not but Right. L- live feeders will probably be all over it. That's it. That I was more thinking about like like when I had the conversation with Ika this morning, we were, I was more thinking about live feeders because she was explaining to me how sometimes you say something or you do something and how they like when you go outside they just drag you on that they one destroy, thing, yeah. and we were like we do not want to be contributing to, like, tarnishing your image outside of here because yeah. that's definitely not what I want to do. I mean I do have comments and I still do not like you but that's like a like a personal <laughs> just thing. Makes that very clear. <laughs> no, but and still I still like, <laughs> do I I don't want to I don't want to contribute to anybody outside being like yeah Kevin did this to William blah blah I don't want to be part of it. I don't like I just yeah, I mm-hmm. just don't want to be a part of it. So I, I just need to go have a very real, very straightforward conversation about how I feel and how he feels. Yeah. And the expectations going forward. Yeah. And it's going to be very uncomfortable, and I think you guys have to have it. It's going to be very uncomfortable. Yes. Because I, I have a feeling like what I tell him is not what he's going to want to hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I just, he has to know. He yes. has to know. Yeah. He has to know. And I really strongly do not feel like this changes anything in your game. I, mm-hmm. he still is gonna like you he's still gonna try to protect you that has nothing to do with game at this point I just feel like it's more personal thing yes. right now and that's the other thing in this like we're humans in a game and sometimes yeah it's easy to you know but okay. I understand I don't have that I'll, I'll go talk to him right now yeah yeah I'll I think be very it's needed straightforward. cause he was a little bit upset I don't know he might be upset because I said it but he was a little bit upset about the Peely comment yesterday and I feel like that's because you guys don't talk about it if he's if he's that upset about that then obviously we're not on the same page you're not with what is going on and it's not that he doesn't know that it's not comparable it's not that he doesn't understand that you loved her and you still do and it's it's different with him i think it's more the way that you said it and like you know the way that you said it just as much because karen Karen said it's like oh william you're kevin's peely this year and i just looked at her and said no like no that's not what it is that's very oh and that yeah, got him really honest got a and William was really really hurt yeah which is it was your honest answer and I, and I just think I mean but at the same time it's like if you said yes like mm-hmm. I could see him getting offended by that too like if someone said compared me to like someone's ex or whatever that's not a good thing like that's just a lose lose exactly you know yeah but yeah yeah and I think he knows I think it's, he knows it's not compa- like He knows it's not the same thing, right? I'm not trying to say, like... She thinks he's in, he's in love with you. I don't. <laughs> I think he just really, really likes you. And he has, like, a crush that just grew into more than a crush. Um, and he knows the difference. He knows it's not the same thing. But at the same time, I think it's the way that you said it. And if he was hurt by that, I feel like it's because you guys don't talk about it. Yeah. If we talked about it and understood, then he wouldn't be... Yeah, right. then it would just be like, yeah, no, I'm not. He would even be the one saying it. You know what I mean? Like it would be different and I feel like if you feel uncomfortable if you're telling me that he's your best friend and you feel uncomfortable telling him certain things and I feel like it's kind of weird because I feel like you should be able to just be like listen this is what it's this is what it because the the purpose of having a, a best friend is that you can be honest with the person and know mm-hmm. that the person's not gonna judge you or be mad at you or if they're mad it's gonna go back to normal after what a couple of Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a couple of hours, for example. You know what I mean? Like, if not, there's no purpose of that person being your best friend. I mean, that's, no? No, I understand. You should, you should feel able to discuss to communicate things. better with them. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I'll, we basically I'll go wanted to... We wanted to let you know that and apologize. No, I appreciate that. You and I can work very direct in human yeah. nature. I appreciate it. Honestly, it didn't really ring any bells for me until... Yeah, I kind of got brought up, and then I thought about it. I mean, but I just 
yeah. And I'm sure, I don't know, like, I'm sure it was mutually thought of that way through the house. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's what we felt like, well, I felt like when Aika made me see that this morning, especially when she was, like, because she has the experience of being outside after the show, and you do too, and I yeah. don't. And when she, like, explained to me, I was like, shit, I really don't want to... I don't want it to be perceived like that. Like, if viewers feel what they feel by themselves, then I don't care. But if it's because I said something or because I contributed to say something and the whole house said it because at one point the whole house was saying it, then I do feel like I'm responsible for something. I don't... I want to apologize in advance. And then if I watch the show and I see that it's really bad, <laughs> I'm going to apologize again, but <laughs> I don't think it's yeah, that I don't, bad. I don't know. Like, obviously, the live feeders, I don't know if it's made it on the edited show. I... Because I feel like if it, would, if it was brought up to me, yeah, you would I would have just put you a stop to it right away. Oh, yeah. I would have yeah. been more aware of it. Yeah. I know we're not allowed to talk about that, but I feel like this is yeah. a personal thing almost outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be more the, like, the life feeder. I know that I've... The only thing that I felt is that if ever that's what you were doing, I, I said it many times, I just don't respect that kind of, like, gameplay. Mm -hmm. Of uh, course. That was always my position, and then I told you since week one, don't lead him on, and I, I still... That, that was always my position. Just don't play him. Don't lead him on. And if ever you're doing that for the game, I don't respect that game. Mm -hmm. And that I have never been doing that for the game. Yeah. Which is good for you. Oh. I'll watch the show. I'm just I'll let you guys hash it out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go, I'll, I'll go talk to him right now. Yeah. But hopefully it's not. I don't think it's on this show. I think it's more like life feeders and stuff. And if the life feeders see it, you know, obviously, Pili sees it. That's the, been the other situation that's been uncomfortable. Like, you, you want to make... Sh you want to make sure that if ever you feel... You still feel like you have feelings for her or whatever, you want to make sure she's not hurt as well. Yes. I don't know what they're showing. I don't know what you guys are doing, but mm -hmm. I feel like you guys are doing stuff. <laughs> so, you want to make sure that just just be honest with your feelings just be mm. truthful like yeah I'll talk to him yeah I'm just gonna think about it for a bit though but yeah there's just a lot to uh, to take I in know. no I appreciate it Dre thank you don't think about hurting anybody's feelings everybody's feelings are hurt like your feelings are gonna be hurt his feelings are gonna be hurt people watching are gonna mm. be hurt like you know but just try to be honest this is for you yeah like, I feel like and for William yeah, it's a lot for yeah. him. You don't want to be seen a certain way. He doesn't want to be seen a certain way. Like, you know? Okay. Oh, I'll think about it and then I'll, I'll talk to him. Yeah. I appreciate that. I still don't like Kudo, so. That's fine. Because <laughs> that <laughs> But I appreciate you doing that for me. I've, give, I've given up on that, Dre. Okay, <laughs> but I do like you a little bit more since a couple of days ago. Good. I, I do. Show that. Just a little bit like this. Anyways, bye. Thank you, Dre. <laughs>